Hi everyone, recently I made a video comparing the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 versus of course the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and of course the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which still sounds weird for me for some reason. I, I, I don't feel like this name is really nice, but either way, I compared it and see how it does in terms of performance with 3D Mark and a little bit of Geekbench as well. Link in the description so you can check that video out. But today's video is all about battery performance. How well does the IQ11 that comes with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 do compared to the other two? The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 being the Xiaomi 12T Pro and of course the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 being the OnePlus 10 Pro. Either way, let's jump into this video and see how the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 compares to the others and of course how the IQ11 in general does with battery life. So we're going straight into it with recording 8K video on all devices. I kept it at 6 minutes simply because the Xiaomi 12T Pro is limited to 6 minutes of 8K recording. With the OnePlus it also noticed it was standing still and sometimes will go into this power saving mode, which is actually pretty clever. After the first round however, the OnePlus is at 97%, the Xiaomi 12T Pro is at 100% and the iQ11 is at 99%. So let's move to 4K recording and do that for 10 minutes. At the end of this, the OnePlus 10 Pro is at 91%, the Xiaomi 12T Pro is at 97%, the iQ11 is at 97% as well. So now it's time for watching some videos. And there is a surprise later to showcase the strength of the iQ11 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. But we'll keep that a surprise for now. In between I will showcase battery performance with intervals so you can keep a proper track on how they are doing. Again in terms of brightness they are all set to the center of their respective brightness capacity simply because most people will use half their brightness. So after a bit over 10 minutes, the OnePlus is at 89%, the Xiaomi 12T Pro is at 96% and the iQ11 at 95%. Let's continue watching a bit more of these videos. So almost 30 minutes later, we also have the following performance so far. The OnePlus is at 88%, the Xiaomi at 94% and the iQ11 at 94% as well. Now let's do some gaming with Genshin Impact. To reflect installing the game, I removed it and installed it on all devices, making sure that I'm using the phone in the same way as well. 
to get a good reading on their battery performance as well when it comes to using Wi-Fi to download the game and install it as well, which took about 30 minutes. Now of course it is hard to play a game on three phones at the same time, so I will have this game running on all phones, but in between I will also have to not play and just have the character do its movement out of boredom. But at the same time I'm trying to keep it as fair as possible and play on all the devices as well. So let's now showcase how it is after the 10 minutes and how they performed so far. No surprise, the OnePlus 10 Pro is at 81%, the Xiaomi 12T Pro and the iQ11 are still drawn at 88%. So let's continue a little bit more and see if there will be a difference after 15 minutes of playing to see if either the iQ11 or the Xiaomi will perform better, which still that's a price to keep in mind. And after 15 minutes, not surprising, but we are still tied with 87% for both the iQ11 and the Xiaomi 12T Pro. Now after playing 25 minutes however, we will probably see the same again right? No, the iQ11 now has 85% left, but the Xiaomi 12T Pro has 84% battery life left, and the OnePlus at 77. It's not a big difference so far, but let's continue and see if there is a difference. And we will start with a 2 hour standby time. Because simply put, the battery in my camera was empty, there's a lot of material that I was shooting here. But it's also good to see how the battery does after playing for a while and of course heating up the phone itself and see the performance after having that time out. After that the OnePlus is at 75%, the Xiaomi 12T Pro is at 83% and the iQ11 is at that same 83%. So let's straight away jump into the video again, but with a big change. To see the difference, the iQ11 for the entire time so far was running at 1440p, keeping up with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 while being in a higher resolution because the Xiaomi 12T Pro doesn't have a 1440p display, it has a full HD Plus display. So will this make a difference? Let's showcase it and see how this changes the dynamic between the CPUs and let's see and let's watch a video for a long time and come back with some results. So after about 1 hour and 30 minutes, we get the following. 62% for the OnePlus 10 Pro, 71% for the Xiaomi 12T Pro and 75% for the iQ11. Already a big difference of 4% now compared to what we had before when they were actually quite similar. Let's now do some gaming because it will have some effect on that as well. But let's play it around 2 hours to truly see the effect of it. So what do we get after about 2 hours of play? The OnePlus 10 Pro 
comes out at 34%. The Xiaomi 12T Pro comes at 49%. And now the important one, how did the iQ11 do? In this resolution that is comparable to the OnePlus and of course the Xiaomi 12T Pro. Well, it actually had a pretty big advantage now, with it being at 56% now. So the only one above that 50%, and it's quite a difference so far. This showcases just the difference between power of all these phones. And the CPU definitely seems more efficient compared to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which was already quite a bit of an upgrade compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, especially because of the heat that the 8 Gen 1 generated. Either way, this was the end of the test because I feel like this showcases the difference really well. Showcasing of course the difference in resolution and showcasing how much more efficient it is while wanting a higher resolution on the iQ11 compared to the Xiaomi 12T Pro. So at the end, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the iQ11 have great battery life. Just in general, you can see there's quite a bit of a difference. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 on the iQ11 allowed it to hold up quite well, even doing a little bit better than the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, while it was on its full resolution of 1440p, where the Xiaomi 12T Pro has a resolution of Full HD+. When I changed it and put it to Full HD+, just to see the difference there, you can notice that straight away, battery life definitely was getting better and better on the iQ11. So it's quite fun to see that while the resolution is higher on the iQ11, it still managed to keep up with, of course, the Xiaomi 12T Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video and I know in the comments it was requested quite a bit and I hope this helps with the information that you needed for the battery life as well with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and of course the iQ11. And of course if you have any more questions let me know, I will see if I can make a separate video for that one. And of course if you aren't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, hit like and comment below because those things truly help out the video and of course uh, for future videos as well. Anyway have a good one and talk to you guys in the next.